Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. As you can see, incredible guitar in the studio today. Uh, as you guys know, I like to find different brands and different models that kind of fly under the radar. This one definitely fits that bill and it's got a little bit of a secret weapon right here. Let's find out what it is. So what exactly is this magnificent black beast? Well, it may come as a surprise to some, but this guitar is made by Court. So this is the Court KX700, a modern metal guitar in every sense of the word. So of course we've got locking tuners, we've got a nice big volute right there as you guys can see, strengthens up that area of the neck, so very strong design. The neck itself, five pieces, roasted maple with strips of walnut, so you can see the five pieces there. And as you would expect on a guitar like this, uh, if I can show you the side profile of the neck, it flattens out very, very nicely. So you can see it's very, very slim along here, which makes playing with your thumb on the back uh, really nice and really easy. Fingerboard, as you can see, no markers, super clean, ebony fingerboard, stainless steel frets, done up as you would expect, very, very nicely. So a nice slinky feel if you guys have played on stainless steel frets before. Uh, they feel a little different, but you know, after like a few minutes of playing on them, you're like, man, when they're polished up like this, it's just so smooth for bending and sliding. Uh, and of course, stainless steel frets, the longevity is, uh, yeah, it's perfect. It'll last uh, your whole lifetime and you won't have to worry about uh, refretting and all that kind of stuff. The carve is absolutely beautiful. Just give you guys a few shots of that carve. <laughs> really nice. Like when you look at it, it's like very, very high end. Really beautiful stuff. As you can see, it's an ash top. So we've got mahogany on the back. There's a look at the neck joint there. So bolt on, mahogany and ash. Interesting combination for sure. Uh, high gain Seymour Duncan pickups, volume, tone, three-way switch. So electronics, very, very simple. You got your three-way switch, your volume and your tone and your Seymour Duncan pickups. The special, uh, I guess, weapon of this guitar is the Evertune. The Evertune is an incredible bridge. Uh, I've done some standalone videos on the Evertune. Just search them up on my channel, but you can set it up to be smooth and slinky and do vibrato and small bends, or you can just suck it down and like literally you can have the strings oscillating like massively as you just hammer the guitar and the bridge compensates that in real time and keeps your guitar perfectly in tune. So if you're laying tracks in the studio, it will keep your guitar perfectly in tune all the time. You can stow it away in a case, pick it up 10 years later, and it'll be in tune. As the strings stretch and move, the bridge compensates and will keep it in tune. Really insane bridge, for sure. And a guitar like this, especially if you're playing like rhythm stuff, uh, the Evertune is an excellent, excellent option. So those are just some quick specs of the KX700. Let's plug it in and take a listen. After that, I think I'm gonna uh, pop off the cavity covers. Let's take a look at the Evertune and the pots and switches. We'll do that after, but let's listen to some tones.
All right, you guys, so I've removed all the screws from the cavity covers. I have not looked inside. Let's do that together for the first time. You may notice, um, you know, the cavity cover is kind of elongated here. Uh, that's to accommodate the Evertune. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. I have, as I mentioned, not looked at it. All right, so here's the cover of the Evertune. Uh, let's pull this other cavity cover up because uh, as I move it, it's probably going to fall out. Oh, it's a nice tight fit. Let's see if I can get that popped up. That's a good sign. Nice and uh, good carve on that. Okay, so here's a look at the Evertune. Really interesting bridge. So each string has its own dedicated spring system, which means you can set up half the guitar one way and half the other way. One of my favorite ways to set up an Evertune is to have like first string, second string, and third string uh, very responsive. So I can do the vibrato, I can do the bends, but when I go to the chugging and I do like the thicker strings, I have these guys so that they keep it in tune all the time, which means if the string bends a little bit, if you press down too hard on one fret and kind of band it, it instantly compensates. So these strings will respond one way, these will respond another way. So cool. Or you can just set up the whole guitar to respond one way. Very, very cool system. So that's the Evertune. Uh, let's take a look at the inside of the cavity cover. So there it is, shielded. Now one thing with court guitars that I have noticed is lots of times they do um, and have their guitars extremely extremely specked out, like this one. There's no spec on this guitar that is overlooked. Um, but then on the inside, we've got dime-sized pots. And as I always say, you know, I've never had dime-sized pots fail me, but on a guitar like this, where, you know, the carve is amazing, uh, <laughs> you know, the pickups, ultra high-end, the bridge, insanely high-end, everything, stainless steel frets, beautiful. Uh, everything about this guitar, I absolutely adore, from the, the looks, to the feel, to the playability. It would really be nice if they spent, you know, a few more bucks and gave me full-size pots and charged me an extra, whatever, 20 bucks on this guitar. <laughs> I would gladly pay it. Uh, so, you know, like I said, I've never had dime-sized pots fail, but on a guitar like this where it's just completely gorgeous, I would love to see full-size pots, and I hope Court does, um, you know, upgrade them in the future. So here are my final thoughts on the KX700 Evertune. Now the KX700 does come in a standard version without the Evertune. Be aware if you do want the Evertune version it is going to be a significant upcharge because what the Evertune bridge does nothing else does. If you have to have your guitar in tune all the time if you're tracking if you're playing live you can't beat the Evertune. So uh, that's what it does. Um, if you don't need it or you want like a Floyd or something like that with uh, more expression go that way. Stainless steel frets are beautiful. Neck profile is beautiful. Satin finish. Love, love, love that. So smooth to play on the front and the back. Um, Evertune will add some weight. Ash can also be heavy. I put this one on the scale and it came in at just a hair under eight pounds, basically eight, eight pounds. So not bad at all, considering it's got, you know, the Evertune bridge uh, on there as well. So eight pounds, uh, supremely well balanced. The headstock is small. Here's a look at the the locking tuners. Obviously the locking tuners will add some weight to the headstock too, but it's a very um, uh, relatively slim headstock. Nice straight string pull that complements uh, the Evertune perfectly. So uh, I don't think you're going to be able to put this out of tune. As I mentioned, love the carve. Love the matte finish for this style of guitar. Love the clean fingerboard. So aesthetically, uh, this guitar absolutely does it for me. Here's just a look at it from a little further back so you can see the full body shape. Uh, just the right amount of menacing for this kind of guitar. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So yeah, not a lot to dislike about this guitar. As I mentioned, the small size pots, don't like that. Uh, I wish Court would just move away from that. Uh, the price that it would, uh, you know, the price increase on the guitar for some full-size pots, eh, almost negligible. So anyway, uh, on all the courts that I see, I always say the same thing. Exquisite guitars, really, really beautiful guitars. And I know that as a brand, they kind of fly under the radar, but incredibly high-end guitar. Like the playing experience rivals almost any other brand. But then you have the dime-sized pots. Doesn't make sense to me. Not a lot to complain about. This guitar sounds great, plays great. The school good guitar. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. we got lots of great guitar content lined up for you guys. I will link to the guitar in the video description below for full specs and pricing. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Take care.